Attention gamers! When it comes to champion design in this self-torture apparatus known as League of Legends, there's a direct correlation between how cool outplaying someone is and how complex the mechanics of that champ are. You have champs like this Queef Kitten and Mr. Roids gone wrong on one end where you just have to sporadically tab into the game to check in from time to time in order to play them. But I don't suspect too many people are searching for godly outplay montages of Dr. Mundo. Mundo. And then you move to the other end of the spectrum with champs like Zed as you fantasize about making plays worthy of those epic commentator verbal ejaculatory remarks ingrained in every young league player's head. Oh, look at the class, look at the moves! Faker, what was that? And I would say Vayne falls into the category of everyone who plays or is acting like they just dropped out of high school because calculus can suck it once they make the next great Gosu montage and become a famous Vayne walking highlight machine, and this results in a serious condition that plagues the rift known as Vayne syndrome. Common side effects of this syndrome are blindly locking in this tit tumbling zero utility champ top lane because most early game matchups are favorable making you feel like less shitty of a player only to play every matchup exactly the same and inevitably get the break speed off of you by the people who have faced this cancer before. Do you then grief and tax others on your team because you didn't get fed early so the odds of you making cool looking plays this game are low so you just wanna go next as you spam FF every 3 minutes while harassing your teammates as they try to deal with the consequences of the rapid fire feeding clinic you put on early game? Only to then decide you turn the very poorly functioning thing in your skull you call a brain completely off as you sit in a side lane and refuse to leave regardless of any possible situation occurring elsewhere on the rift. If so, you unfortunately are just a somersaulting shithole with grade A vein syndrome and today we will be examining a classic case to educate the masses on the absurd consequences of dealing with one of these on your team. Now if you are enjoying the syndrome series on this channel aka me turning the pain and agony I face every day on this dumb game dealing with inbred donkeys as teammates into something we can all laugh at and learn from, then please politely abuse the hell out of that upward thumb button and let's get into the gameplay. Don't forget the boys and I are doing a $5,000 giveaway where you can enter for free in like 12 seconds so unless freaking Jeff Bezos is out there watching my content I don't see any situation where this wouldn't be worth your time to do so check the link in the description. And this game starts off like most of my games do, with me getting flamed just for building a very normal item on Ezreal followed by people excited to see I am against them in a game probably because they know it'll likely be a free win as I do my thing with some pre-game tier stacks and action and Gosu goggles up top informs us that no time will be wasted before the cats get fed this game as he picks a 1v1 bush fight at level 1 against a champ who literally fetishizes about shrubbery which unsurprisingly results in him getting spanked like an insubordinate hooker and sent back to base. But lane phase for me starts off promising despite the enemy team having a better draft aka no ADC when my support dismembers her horse and steel platos it into a pair of heavy thick pants and I fizzle a few ticklers into the foxhole while warning that pixie shit that she better back the hell off. And by the time her sexy snow globe yo yo gets back to lane we have her low and glowing like a sore muscle in an arthritis commercial so I pop her cherry and then let the rift horses do some synchronized steed stomping. But once I realize that they are extending the date past one murder I get a severe case of FOMO so I take the scenic route because you gotta make friends early in these games or there will just be flaming clicky dicks in chat later as I arrive just in time to flash heel hecky boy don't ever say Rav doesn't care about his teammates like they are damn family and we fax a copy of the fox back to base. Meanwhile Soul Stealer Shitstain up here has decided that pushing blindly will be her best bet while letting that giant violent kitten play leapfrog on repeat until she gets tangled in one of his umbilical cords which prompts a little quarrel as knocking him back in the wrong direction and then selfishly deciding there's no point to keep her flash alive if she can't be either turns out to not be the right move for her. Then a minute later you can't see because Riot's shitty replay system but she was jerking her help me ping off so fast you would guess it was close to the O face and begging for it as her strategy to exploit being a ranged top laner isn't panning out and neither is letting 700 pound fed freight trains with furry manes plow her ass down for a third time. That said bot is going well and one discovery I made from this game was that having a horse support and a horse jungler was great for my lane getting attention probably due to them being the same species and wanting to get it on together or some biology shit and this lands me another kill on the mini glitter girl before the rel proves that having 74 movement speed isn't ideal for escaping an irritated turret. And while my plan is to take it slow Hecarim had like a broken heart after his steel simp queen died so he practically suicides himself forcing me to hit a cute combo to finally box the fox only for me to be introduced to their jungler who made a pretty unfriendly first impression. 
Ah yes small side effect of vein syndrome is that once she realized her cheddar cheese top lane strat can no longer prevail over bushes and bitch and bobcats she mobilizes her feeding efforts to the mid lane to see how she fares against cyberpunk 2077 Lucian and for a second you think her launching peekaboo simulator will land her the win but it turns out dodging 0 out of 36 Barack bullets is not the way to close that one out. And so I tried to distract our mid laner from the doom he will now have to deal with by asking him to stop down bot to pick up a quick paycheck as that useless deflated steel elephant rider does nothing other than force me to flash heal or dumb slow stone ass so that she can stay alive to steal the kill but it works out when we get an easy southern ace. Unfortunately this vein couldn't pour water out of a shoe with the instructions written on the heel as she immediately runs back to mid lane gets chunked down and makes another donation to the make a fed glow in the dark Obama foundation. And if I was ready to have my own children I would've stopped wrapping my wiggy a long time ago which made me frustrated when I had to play the role of dad in this one but my little papa pep talk seemed to spur some positivity as tumble tits roams jungle to staple that cigar simp to the wall and claim her first kill. But when cyberpunk 2077 years of game design came down she should've said fuck it I'm outie but then she wouldn't be a true vein player would she? And a minute later she was faced with a big dilemma. You see she wanted to keep feeding their top laner but she also wanted to be mid and give some side cash to the guy with the glow sticks and I have to say, the innovation of knocking two birds out with one stone was impressive as I am not sure if she or Riot's developers should be more embarrassed after her dying to melee attacks over a wall like that. That said it's cool because Lady Stone Shinguards is getting beefy enough to negate her stupidity and you know what they say about people who have big hands slash foam fingers. Big banana bombs baby as Wanda gets cosmoed and then I leave that fox injured and limping away like a dumb deer on the side of a highway but wait is this a foreshadowing of Ari syndrome if she just can't let her last two alt charges go to waste and must use one to dash back into danger giving me a shutdown? This lets me get a few rounds of tap the tower in until pixie tits returns and decides it would be a fruitful decision to see off the destruction of this monument which I thought was a nice gesture so I gave her a ring then popped that shit and murdered her dumb ass. And in my little bot lane bubble the game was going well but league is a team game after all which means someone is bound to be infected with toxins and seeking to spread them as I started to realize we have a syndrome video on our hands. Back to the cuckhead cam and we get to see how the subject responds to a teammate in need as she comes and ignores the conflict entirely slaps a booger bush and proceeds to glue gun herself to make it so easy to land a charm that a small over sexualized fox could do it in her sleep which adds another tally to Vane's times I've been a twat waffle list. Meanwhile it's time for me to rip off the rosy goggles and deal with the reality that there is a giant bladed bobcat running around more fed than Kobayashi after an eating contest so I opt to spell certified vagina with a capital V acting the part of the squeaker in this game of cat and mouse until eventually the horrifying hedge hopping comes to an end and we euthanize the violent feline. But after my team collectively agrees to not release the butt muncher from the prison she put herself in, she decides to break out herself even if it's against the rules knowing the riot guards won't punish such behavior, and it looks like she gave the opportunistic tabby one more meal on her way out as well. Meanwhile I am off mid getting surprised valentined up the ass by ratchet rainbow anime fox slut characters which was nothing but a close call until I realized I had more dots on me than a dice courtesy of season 11 items. And it was hard to act excited when our griefing set of goggles logged back in knowing she was the sole source of the enemy's income when putting them out of business was the goal and sure enough she wastes absolutely no time proving once again that not all apes have evolved yet by pacing back and forth nervously until her move is to fire off one staple gunner before stepping away to slip a quick fart out and returning in a straight line to proceed with the theme of what the fuck is she thinking, that she has been committed to all game. Then my support is off in river not really doing anything of use except for being an impenetrable punching bag and prying the puma out of his peekaboo plant so we can all call him a dead bitch and move on. But little miss gosu up there is just insistent on being more overextended than that sex tuplet's mom's vagina with the false sense of confidence that all vain players have at this point in the game thinking they can just roll around on the ground and collect their paychecks until graves presses his delete adc button and wins the fight. And I am busy trying to prevent these red floating headbands from successfully making horses go extinct on the rift as my first nanner manscapes the pistol popper but the near miss doesn't seem to matter as we show why two words one shot is the best way to describe the direction this game is going in not only in the bot lane but all over the rift as the afk auto attacking vein 2 becomes an example of it. 
and thus we come to the final symptom shown by the shitholes who have the syndrome of stealthy somersaults as after a partial ace the selfish shades on this feeding Felicia are off without giving two shits about if her team wins because she didn't get any montage worthy content to make dropping out of high school worth in this one as she just continues to keep her head down and afk attack minions as they are the only thing at this point she can kill as their entire team pushes our base in and ends the game. So in the end the only thing you can do when you encounter someone with this syndrome is identify it in its severity to the source whom we don't know if they exist or not and pray that they will investigate and act before it ruins any more games. Thanks for watching and let me know what syndrome is plaguing your games that you want me to cover next. I will sneak peek little hint that there is a rel syndrome in the near future based off of what I have seen in a few games recently. Huge shout out to my Patreon supporters keeping the lights on in this igloo as well as my new YouTube members enjoying their dank ass emotes and sub badges. Pet your dog jerk your ween tumble your tits safely and brush your teeth tonight, rav out.